In this video, you will learn how to create and edit your web store content pages and menus. First, you might be asking, what is a content page? In Neato, any page for displaying information that isn't a product on your website is considered a content page. Content pages are categorized into types based on their purpose. Each type has their own layout and functionality. You can even create your own content types, however, this is not covered in this video. Web pages are the simplest form of content type. Their job is to display the information that you add into it. Your homepage, about us, and returns policies are all types of web page content. The product category and brand content types are primarily used to display the products they're associated to. This makes them great to act as filters on your website. And while all content pages can have parent and child pages, you'll find it most often on product categories. The last two content types you'll find pre-installed in your web store are the blog and buying guides. They function much the same as web page content, but splitting them up makes them easier to manage, customize and display on your website. So let's dive in and edit a basic information page on our website. Navigate to the web store menu and click on the web page content type. Here you'll see all the pre-installed pages which have some basic content in them. One page which doesn't is the About Us page. So let's add some info into it. Click on About Us to be taken to the edit page. Here we see the type of content page it is, any parent content, as well as the name of the page and its status. Scroll down to the page content section to add information to this page. You can type your content straight into the editor and style it using the options above. In this example, I'm going to add an image using the editor as well. However, if you're familiar with HTML coding, you can click on the source code button. Here you can paste in the HTML or edit the content directly. Moving further down the page, you'll see we can link this to other content pages or products, change which customers can see it, select a new template, and add our SEO data. Once you're happy, click Save. To see what your content looks like, click the View on Web Store button. We're now going to create a new page, telling a bit about the history of our company. Back in the control panel, we'll click on the new web page button, but you can also go back into the web store, web page menu, and click add new. Because this page is about our company, we're going to add it as a child beneath the about us page. This is exactly how product categories are structured, so you can see how similar the different content types can be. Once we fill in our details and set the page to active, we'll click save and view it on our website. The page is working, but there's no way to navigate to it without having a direct link. To fix this, we'll add it to a menu. To add pages to a menu, in the control panel, navigate to Web Store and click Menus. On this page, we can see the three menus that are in our Web Store theme, the header, footer and information menu. Each of these menus are independent of each other. In this example, we're going to add our history page to the header menu. Click on web header and we see the menu items that are pre-populated in our website header. Click add new menu item and enter the name of the page that you want to add to your menu. To edit where the menu goes, Click on the Links to link. Menus can direct customers to any page on our site or even to other websites through an external URL. In this example, we're going to point it to a web page, select About Us, and then our History page. Let's save it and visit our website to see how it looks. The menu shows on our page as we've configured it. But because the history page sits under About Us in our content structure, let's reflect that in the menu. Back in the menus, click and drag on History to rearrange the order. 
When it's under about us, we're going to shift it to the right just a bit and it will go indented. You'll also see the About Us menu has an arrow on it, indicating that it has a submenu. Click Save and we'll see how it looks on the website. Once we refresh the page, we can see that the About Us has items under it, and hovering over About Us shows the link to the History page. What's been demonstrated here is just a small example of how content pages and their menus work, so we hope this shows you what they can do and encourages you to try them out for yourself.